my five favorite oils in order. Okay, my absolute favorite, it's got to be extra virgin olive oil, first cold pressed and organic. It's the most nutrient-dense food that you can possibly put in your body. It's loaded with antioxidants and polyphenols. In fact, it's so good for you, I tell my patients that the only purpose of food is to get olive oil into your mouth. And the benefits of olive oil keep getting discovered year after year. Recently, a study in mild cognitive impairment, having people use extra virgin olive oil showed improved memory and improved cognition compared to a placebo oil. The hits keep coming and coming on the benefit of getting olive oil. Now, there's creative ways to get olive oil into your diet. Just check out my video on my podcast YouTube channel titled, How to Add More Olive Oil in Your Diet. Next up, Perilla oil. Now, most of you have probably never heard of this. Perilla is the favorite oil of uh, Korea and parts of China. Perilla comes from the perilla plant. Many of you have seen perilla growing in your garden or in your house. It's a coleus plant. So the seeds of perilla oil is where perilla comes from. What's so interesting about perilla? First of all, it has a rich content of rosmarinic acid. Now, rosmarinic acid is one of those compounds that supports brain health. And in fact, in studies of the Acciarolians, who are the oldest living people south of Naples, Italy, they chew rosemary all day long. They chew sprigs of rosemary and they're looking for the rosemarinic acid that supports brain health. Perilla oil is a great easy way to get rosemarinic acid into you. But perhaps more importantly, perilla oil is very high in a short chain omega-3 fat called alpha-linolenic acid, ALA. And the cool thing about ALA is that, as I've written about in The Energy Paradox in earlier books, it's tremendous for heart health. The famous Lyon heart diet study compared people who were put on a Mediterranean diet with added ALA into their diet versus the American Heart Association low-fat diet. These are people who had heart attacks. The study was designed to go five years. It was stopped after three years because the group that had the ALA in their diet had so fewer heart attacks than the American Heart Association low-fat diet that it was unethical to continue. And when they broke down all the components of the diet that made a difference, the only thing they found different was the level of alpha-linolenic acid in the participant's bloodstream. You can mix it half and half with olive oil in your salad dressings, like I do. You can cook with it. This one is actually from Dr. Adorable. I have no relationship. Uh, what a cute name, Dr. Adorable. You can find it on Amazon. Next up, sesame oil. Now, my first oil that I love is olive oil, but the second and third are really close together. Perilla, maybe nix out sesame oil, but sesame oil is not to be forgotten. Now, most people know sesame oil as toasted sesame oil, and it's great for adding as a flavor, but the real benefit is in plain untoasted sesame oil, and just so happened to import this from Morocco from the same people, the same farmers, who provide us with our olive oil at Gundry MD. Next up, macadamia nut oil. Now, macadamia nuts are one of my prize nuts, but the reason macadamia nut oil is so unique is that anywhere from 11 to 27% of the fats in macadamia nut oil are palmitoleic acid, which is omega-7. Now, studies in rats have shown that omega-7 uh, fatty acids induce a feeling of satiation 
and enhance the release of satiety hormones. And one of the only ways to get omega-7 is macadamia nut oil or sea buckthorn oil. But this is delicious and easy to find. Again, try it out in your salad dressings. In fact, have fun. Mix multiple ones of these oils together. Drizzle it on your foods. It's got a wonderful kind of buttery flavor that I absolutely love. It's easy to find. Finally, MCT oil. Now, MCT stands for medium chain triglycerides, which the cool thing about MCTs is that unlike any other fat, unlike any of these other oils, MCT oil is absorbed directly through the wall of your gut into your bloodstream that goes directly into your liver. All these other fats cure at its root. In the liver, MCT oil is converted into ketones. And ketones are what stimulate mitochondrial uncoupling, the subject of my last book, Unlocking the Keto Code. Now, in a landmark 2008 study, researchers at Columbia University compared two groups of overweight people eating a diet with the same number of daily calories with one critical difference. One group ate olive oil. The other group consumed MCT oil. Fascinatingly, the individuals who ate MCT oil generated more heat burned more oxygen, and lost more weight than those who consumed olive oil. So olive oil is great, and there's very good studies showing olive oil promotes weight loss. But if getting into ketosis and uncoupling your mitochondria is what you want, and believe me, you want that, MCT oil is the way to go. Now, for my women viewers, you got to be careful with MCT oil. If you start too quickly, many women get feelings of nausea, get loose bowel movements, even diarrhea. So work your way up. I like people to try to get three tablespoons a day in divided doses. It's a good place to start. Now, we've also found that many of my women patients do better with powdered MCT oil. And it just so happens that I make an MCT oil creamer that is powdered MCT. And it's also got many additional ingredients to support gut health, uh, mushroom, ashwagandha. Powdered is the way to go for women if you're at all worried. And it makes your coffee taste delicious. When you're buying MCT oil, buyer beware. You want to look for C8 or 10. Don't look for the mixed MCT oils. A lot of them are pretty worthless in generating ketones. C8 is the best at generating ketones. C10 is right behind. So the good news is this is now becoming readily available. It's at Costco. And if it's at Costco, you know it's readily available. All right, those are my five favorite oils. Olive, perilla, sesame, macadamia nut oil, and MCT oil. Enjoy yourself, mix and match. They're all great for you. They all have distinct benefits. So get them all in your diet. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast. Make sure to check out the next one here. Gundry MD polyphenol rich olive oil has 30 times the hydroxytyrosol as conventional olive oil. It's like getting the benefits of drinking an entire liter of olive oil in just over two tablespoons.